starting at the top in these plastic boxes I've just got miscellaneous screws tacks just bits and pieces I never throw anything away again that one that's actually got some blades in it so Take them out, put them away. Or again, just screws and tacks. Then this top one. All sorts of bits and pieces again. Got some gloves. More larger screws, different head for this um, shave hook, piece of wood which I'll always carry because I can take pieces off and any window furniture, door furniture that I change, obviously not everything's the same so I can plug gaps, quick easy filling. Piece of foam, sticky foam, some silicon ends for cupboards or doors that are really banging noisy. More ends of blades, which I just don't throw away. I always keep them because they come good for stripping edges of wood. Got some wall plugs in there, drill bits, arm keys. More ends of blades. I'll show you what they're good for after. Good tip with these. So again, more electrical for splicing. A few cable clips. Just bits and pieces I don't really throw away. This one, this has got more important stuff in. So this, I've got various metal files, which again, door furniture, you can do with slight adjustments. A screwdriver, that comes in handy for, for awkward screws, cowling on radiators, different things like that. A selection of punches which are important. So there's varying sizes of punches there. Good selection. So a good one is a magnet. I would keep one of them. You can always put it onto another piece of stick if you drop anything. And for also if you're needing to search for anything in your box and you want anything particular, then you can just pick them up easier. So I've got screw heads, drill bits, pencils. So I don't say again, I don't know where that's come from. It's just a bit of a bolt. But again, I just don't throw anything away. Another drill bit, another drill bit. That's a good one. Compass. I use that for scribing. You know, with your pencil, you can scribe against anything. So, pen and more blades, just ends of blades. Never throw them. They'll always come in handy for doing something. Now this is this will be a bit of a mess. I've been in and out in and out of here. I've just not you know not cleaned it at all. It's just everything gets thrown in at the end of a job. So well, a couple of duster brushes because you never know you're working. One might be wet or if you've got 
any stained woodwork and you've got painted woodwork then the white dust you don't want to be transferring to your stain so again a couple of brushes nice flat filling blade if you've seen that before that's a good one Brad all. That is a good piece of kit. Again, small glazing hammer. That's that's good enough really because you're never going to be doing anything heavier. And if I do, if I am doing anything heavier, I'll just take another hammer with me. And one of the scrapers. Edges of that have gone a bit rounded, so that could do with actually going on a grinder and, and squaring off, get nice square edges on it for stripping. Inch scraper, that's severely rounded that. When you're doing any raking out and different things, that's how your, your edges get worn on them. Metal file, always have one of them. shave hook. Perfect. Good stuff. It's a bit of a stirring stick. So we've got screwdrivers, got flat and a cross Phillips. Another stumpy screwdriver Phillips. Another old screwdriver which I use for raking out as well. So I've been using the stirring paint. A half inch brush which shouldn't be there. Standard blade. Better than your snap blades because they're a strong. Snap blades are good because you get the length of the blade and sometimes they'll curve so you can do certain things with them. Whereas this, if you're doing anything really heavy with it, it's a good safe blade. in there. Right, putty knife. Always have a putty knife. There's another punch, which again, it'll have just been thrown in from when I've been out the other day. Little screwdriver, small flathead. Bit of insulation tape. This is another putty knife, well, filling knife that I made. This is actually just an old knife and I've put a bend on it so then I can use that for filling very fine gaps. Little screwdriver, cross head, Phillips. keys, hexagon keys, hex keys, whatever you want to call them, but a lot of fittings nowadays do use these, so essentially you have one of them in your box for removing anything, bathroom fittings, perfect. So again it's just rubbish in there now, there's a bit of filler, see uh, Spindle out of a door, which I'll always keep with me. Pliers. Always need a pair of pliers. That's window scraper. Window cleaner. That should be a head to that. A, a cover for it. Which is there. That should go on. So yeah, good for cleaning glass off. Rubbish. Oh, pieces of wood. I've always got pieces of wood somewhere. I always use them. More raw plugs and screws. That's an old chisel I use for any bits of brickwork. 
any chiselling out when I'm doing any uh, deep cracks in walls. And I'm just down again to another spindle off a door. <laughs> See, they just they seem to just something come from nowhere. Another piece of wood. So ends of blades. I'll try and keep them together. That's mostly sandpaper on that side now. So yeah. So we're going on to another file. That's the triangle one. Another small file. Flat edge screwdriver, stumpy one. You can tell I use that one for opening my paint. Measure. More blades. This will probably be used. Yeah. So again, don't throw them away. There's always some rough work you'll end up using them for um, gouging or raking something out. Oh, I've got another screwdriver there that's got interchangeable heads on it. adjustable spanner so that's again taking door furniture off always carrying one of them pincers perfect for pulling out pins and nails again so pieces of sandpaper with the tube off my vacuum with a small screwdriver, that is only a small one. And a box of screws. I've got a bit of wood filler there. That was actually from the other day. That shouldn't be in there, that should be with the other kit. Again, I'll have just thrown it in. A small electrical screwdriver. Another piece of wood. In there, that's really just bits of sandpaper, so I'll go through all that lot and see if that's worth keeping. And I'll put it in a box because, again, you'll always end up using a piece of it smooth for something. So that's that top part. And plastic sheeting, oh my. yeah, pieces of wood. I'll use them for levelling if I'm outdoors with these steps or ladders, I can just level off. Oh my god, cloth. A bit of duct tape, good stuff. Especially if you're putting sheets on brickwork. Masking tape. I've got can -ops. Couple of can ops there. That one's for me bucket. That's for me paint. They're essential when you're working up ladders. Essential. Gloves, latex gloves, and dust mask. That's a that'll be a P3 that one. And metal rule. More wood filler, which shouldn't be in there. I do sometimes when I'm using this stuff, you can mix them together and you, you know you can get your own sort of colour for what you need. So mastic guns. And I got two. Because what you will notice with um, actually in somewhere here with brown cork, you'll notice that you won't get it in into your gun. It'll be a longer tube and you won't get it into certain guns. So that's why you'll always have two guns. You notice this one's a fraction longer. That's for the brown cork. That's just for any other sealants I'm using, which is usually a polymer sealant. You see there in the end, that could do a cleaning. 
There's all they, they do they need cleaning. A great big lump of uh, ceiling, that's good stuff that is. So yeah, two guns, essential. And a piece of wood. That's another mask, another P3. And then I don't know, a piece of wire. I don't know, I've used it for fishing something out from somewhere, probably behind the back of the radiator. Or, but I've, I've kept it, I won't throw it away now. Uh, stickler. Little rubber stickler. So another old duster brush. It's quite stumpy on that. But again, it's better to have more than one because you could be working near wet areas or gutters and you're getting dirty. It's always good to have a clean one. Another screwdriver, a small stumpy flat head. Another screwdriver, it's quite a long one. A flat head. Another screwdriver, that's a very fine one. Again, sometimes some fittings um, they'll have a Phillips screw. Well, that's what that'll be for. Another filling knife. Not really a fan of this one. It's probably why it's at the bottom of my box. It's a bit stiffer than the other. Okay. Plastic scraper, which sometimes used for cleaning off plastic, especially if it's emulsion or something I can soften off. Plugs. So that's uh, used blades again. Used Stanley blades. So, clean that up. Again, that's for stirring paint. I'll always keep one somewhere. Another piece of wood. This one's oak. This one, this is a small piece of oak. Another strip of wood. Again, I use them for plugs. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of uses from them. Another file, this is a small round file. That should be with all the others. And then we're down to rubbish, really. Piece of carpet tape, it's like a double sided stuff. This peel the top off, it's pretty good stuff. Sometimes when you tuck carpet up, um, it doesn't want to sit back in certain areas, so with the tape. And then again. Filling knife there. I think this one again. This this one's a bit too soft, <laughs> but yeah, it's a smaller filling knife. And drywall plugs, plastic ball plugs. Very good to have. And then that's it. Generally, we're back down to rubbish. Some. Bit of stock in there for me, uh, straining my paint has somehow got loose. So there you have it. That's it. So it's a fair bit really, but at the end of the day, you know, you need it because the idea sometimes painting, and decorating. Um, it's not necessarily all the time you can get yourself a joiner or a plasterer when you want them. So this way, you know, you can soon pick up to do, learn to do certain bits and pieces yourself. That blade I talked about before main reason why I keep these, apart from you can chase out brickwork with them, you know, if you're raking out cracks, and when they do get worn, you chuck them. But these are really good for stripping, moulding, or beads, 
glazing beads. So if I'm stripping a window or I'm stripping a door, I'll always use one of these. I think when these are manufactured, they're punched out. So which leaves one of these edges sharper than the other. So taking this bit of bead here, which has got stain on it, find the right edge, that's the right edge. If I do the other side, it, it's not, not as sharp, but perfect. I mean, this has got nothing on it. This is only, um, as in, it's no paint stripper. It's only got varnish on it. Is perfect for doing the job. So let's tuck it off there. See the varnish there. Another tuck. Always keep them.